So here we go, guys. The uh, final instalment of the elephant uh, back in the workshop. This is the time. Look at it. It still looks a little bit P-Tech, uh, as I call it. So there's a little, uh, a few advancements that we need to make. First thing I'm going to do is just remove some of this excess material out of the eyes. I'm going to use um, a simple uh, diamond burr bit just to take that excess material out because we don't want to take too much material out at the moment. Uh, again, for this tutorial, I'm using my Dremel 4000 and flex shaft, and I'll be mainly using for the finishing uh, diamond burrs. I'll put some links in the description as well of where you might be able to get these burrs uh, off Amazon. And Guys, when it comes to a carving, the finishing is probably the most important part. Once you've got everything blocked out, once you've got your design, the finishing either makes or breaks it. So although this video is going to be uh, shortened, uh, the finishing actually took nearly an hour um, in total just to get those final details the way I wanted them uh, for the finished product. I'm going to speed every process up until we get to the next point just so it's not a 52 minute video for you guys and if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe put something in the comments let us know if you like it or if you hate it um, and what you want us to carve next you know we want to keep growing this community we've just broken 2,000 subscribers which is amazing we want to keep carving and keep growing so like share comment let's grow this community the first cut is the deepest, but we keep on going. Elephants are amazing, in the green they're glowing. If we can carve it, you can too, let's stop the showing. Custom carving UK, it's our work for showing. Spark fly. That's the eyes done, happy with those. Now to move on to the sanding. I'm going to be using my sanding mandrels um, and I've done a quick video on how I do my sanding as well. Um, so it, I'll put a link in the de description for you guys. It makes sanding so much faster and I actually think it gives a better look as well because with the mandrels, once you've made them, you can actually get in some nooks and crannies, uh, what you might struggle with with just normal sandpaper. So again, just going to sand in uh, a few more details to get rid of any of the bigger cut marks that I've still got and also to do a bit of shaping at the same time. It's on our work we're showing In our studio realm creative source I always turn the speed down on the Dremel to around about 10,000 when I'm sanding so it doesn't use up the, the sandpaper too quickly uh, and that's the same with any sanding including with the Dremel drums Stay hands and focused eyes We make a mark Could soul birds are humming Sparking up the dark The first cut is the deepest But we keep on going Elephants are mating In the green they're glowing If we can carve it you can too Let's start the showing Custom carving UK It's not a word for showing Like and subscribe Carving as well Just remember Every little cut line that you leave in this will show up as soon as you put any varnish, any finish on it, or anything, and by then it's too late. So you're better off taking your time, sanding every little piece of that carving to make it look as good as it possibly can. Um, I hope you like the track that's playing in the background as well. It's one that I custom made for this particular carving. Uh, let us know in the comments if you like it, if you like this style of video, uh, or if you want us, to try, want us to try something different. So that's all the big, big lines out. Now I'm just changing the grit to a higher grit. Um, I'm going from the 60 grit up to the 120 now, I think it is. And again, it's just to give you a smoother finish overall. You will still want to keep those details in that you've carved in, but anything else, um, you want to be able to, to, to really smoothen it out. So when the finish is there, you get that glossy, shiny effect.
begin Cuss old birds at the ready Let's carve an elephant If we can carve it, you can too Custom carving UK, it's up to you The first cut is the deepest Just keep going Elephants are amazing Let's keep showing Always keep a paintbrush to uh, dust off the excess sawdust when you're done. But so far, I hope you'll agree, it's really starting to smoothen out now. Almost at that sheen uh, stage. So I'm just going to move up a grit. Um, going up to 240 grit now on the sandpaper on the mandrel. Um, just to give it that extra shine. Any bits that I've missed. Anywhere where the wood still slightly looks burnt rather than carved. The first cut is the deepest, but we keep on going. Hope you'll agree, it's starting to look really good, really smooth uh, on the finish, which is what I want because as soon as I apply um, the final finish, which I'm going to put on, anything that isn't smoothened out will show. So I'm just changing the mandrel now to the final one, which I think I'm going to do for this, which is a 320 grit, and I think that'll give me the, the smooth look that I'm looking for. Then we'll apply the final finish. Watch the magic let go of the mundane Feel every groove, our passion's bright Minds in curves, taking flight Our studio lights, our dreams ignite In this carving life, we set our sights The first cut is the deepest But we keep on going Elephants are amazing In the green they're glowing If we can carve it, you can too Let's stop the showing Custom carving, you can there we go so that is the sanding element pretty much done and hopefully you can see just how much smoother it looks from when we started uh, just going to hoover everything off as well to make sure there's no loose bits of sawdust or, or anything still on the carving before we put the final finish on always useful to have a shop vac just to hoover around uh, your piece before you put the final piece um final uh, sealant on because once it's sealed if there's any bits in there you'll have to um sand them off and then refinish the whole thing it's amazing to think where this elephant came from and all it was was me staring at a piece of wood for 20 minutes looking at the grain and trying to find out what the grain was telling me um i love doing that with wood i think sometimes the wood tells you what it actually wants to be if you look at the grain for long enough or maybe i'm just crazy who knows let me know in the comments So a final brush off. Lines and curves where our dreams thrive. Hold tight, let the magic ignite in the studio lights. We carve through the night. The first cut is the deepest, but you keep on going. And for this, I decided I was going to use tum oil. It doesn't have to be food safe. I just really like the uh, the mild uh, sort of change in colour that it gives the wood and the natural protection that tum oil gives wood. On reflection, I could have actually. Um, done it in two stages so done the tongue oil on most of the elephant and then left the tusks and then gone over it with a poly uh, but I hope you'll agree the end result looks amazing with just the tongue oil For me, this is where three days of carving actually comes to life. You actually start to see the finished product, what you've put so much time into, 
and um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this piece uh, turned out. They don't all, all turn out successful, and actually I've got a few failures that are going to come up in uh, a few videos time. I don't mind sharing my failures with you because we all have them. Not every carving works out the way you want it to. The key is just keep on going and the next one hopefully will turn out okay. Again guys with this one I'm planning on having it indoors as a display item so that's again another reason why I chose the tum oil rather than going with um, a harder uh, sort of poly polycarbonate or anything like that I would be putting that on if it was going outdoors but hopefully this tongue oil, tongue oil will protect it enough indoors and then I can just reapply a coat once every couple of years. But we're only getting that natural sheen now because of the amount of sanding um, that's been done. Uh, I know this video, I think in total 16 minutes, but it was actually 52 minutes worth of sanding. Um, so I did speed it up for you guys for the purposes of the video. Um, but it just shows you putting those final touches in is what really makes a piece. Spark fly, dust falls in the air. Flex shaft, we're crafting with care. Cuts all burrs, cutting through the grain. Watch the magic, echo of the mundane. Feel every groove, our passions bright. Lines and curves taking flight. Our studio lights, our dreams ignite. In this carving life, we set our sights. The first cut. If you've not watched the original video on how we carved it, I'll put a link in the description. Also, any of the burrs that I use in my carvings, um, I tend to put in the description as well. Um, it's an Amazon Associates link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it helps the channel grow. So by all means, have a look at those links. I've put the links in there for the US and the UK. Um, so click on the link and obviously buy it. Um, and, and tell me what you think in the comments. Um, so far, I'm yet to find any burrs that beat Kutzel. Uh, if anybody's got any that they think do beat Kutzel for, for sort of wood removal, then again, let me know in the comments. I use different burrs for different parts of the carving. Um, Kutzel so far are the favourites on the uh, material removal and control when I'm carving. Uh, some of the Dremel burrs I like for other things, so sort of inlays and getting to certain depths and some of the um, Kungsten Tarbide burrs I use for finishing off a piece as well as the diamond burrs for finishing off a piece. I, I think there's uh, every burr that I've tried so far has a use case somewhere. It's just about getting uh, the right use case on a car carving to use it. Don't forget as well, protect the back of your carvings as well, because uh, again, if rot or, or liquid or something gets in the back, it will damage the wood, which will essentially damage the front. And I've done this before with, with an outdoor piece where I forgot to varnish the back, put it outdoors, the front looked amazing, but then when you turned it round, it was falling apart because the whole back of the item had decayed away. So always make sure you put whatever protection you're going to use on the front and the back. So there we go, as we come into the end, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed this series actually of Carving the Elephant, I know I, I've loved carving it. Uh, if you have learnt anything or if you liked the content and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe to the channel, let's keep growing, let's keep carving, uh, thanks for watching as well, I really appreciate it, and if there's anything you want to see us do, let us know in the comments. Uh, the next video that we're going to be releasing is a bit of a, an epoxy project that we've done. Um, my first experience with epoxy and also there's a bit of a flame in there as well. So I'll let that out um, and hopefully that should be ready to go later on this week. So uh, turn on the notifications and you'll get a ping when that happens. And again, thanks again for watching and uh, keep on carving. Your 
Dremel flex shop, let's begin Cussle burrs at the ready, let's carve an elephant If we can carve it, you can too Custom carving UK, it's up to you The first cut is the deepest, just keep going Elephants are amazing, let's keep showing Like and subscribe, tell the world about our flowing Let's carve together, look how we're growing Under the studio, lights our elephant come true us flying everywhere, yet we push on through With each pass and swipe, our vision's clear Details to find, and magic appears The first cut is the deepest 